stress, a strong feeling of being burned out, feeling pressured, and feeling of anxiety. These are our strong emotions that we feel whenever we are faced with difficult situations or challenges. Um, someone approached me and asked me, how do you manage to go on despite of what's going on around? So today, I'll be sharing my experiences on how I cope up with stress working in a BPO industry for almost 15 years and 8 years as a manager. So first and foremost, when I am faced with difficult situation, the first thing that I do and I, I keep reminding myself is to talk to God first because He is our Creator. He knows everything about us and um, in, a, in a normal situation like if you are sick then you will see a doctor because they are the experts and they have invested time and years of study to understand the human body and on how to heal diseases so once you have these strong emotions building up in your heart and even destroying your peace of mind talk to god first be reminded and always remember to go back to your creator because number one he loves you and second is that he knows everything about you uh, it says in psalm 139 16 your eyes saw my unformed substance and in your book all the days of my life were written before ever they took shape so god knows everything about us our heart our mind our senses everything and aside from that he even planned for the days the events and even the trivial things in our life so god knows uh, and he is fully aware of what's going on with you so now probably the question is, if God knows everything about me, why do I need to talk to Him? Why do I need to pray? So God is after connecting with you, uh, building a relationship with you, and uh, giving us, or He wanted us to experience, and He wanted to reveal Himself to us as a father, as a friend, as a savior or whoever we need we need to have or we need him to be on that particular situation so before you take your issues your concerns to anyone else take it first to god so before you take your issues to someone else or somewhere uh, talk to god first you can come as open as you are you you can come as who you are as honest and truthful and uh, open and bold on how you are feeling and what's worrying you every concerns that you have so uh, God is there to God there God is not there to condemn you but rather he's there as you needed him to be so after I express how I feel uh, by talking to God first, second that I do is I ask for wisdom. Um, asking for wisdom is um, an act of humility. Um, it says in James 4.6, uh, it says here that God opposes the proud, but he favors the humble. So, uh, in, even in the natural, uh, if a person is self-sufficient, that person could not be helped. So, no one could help that person if the person could not acknowledge the needed help. So, uh, as human beings, we are limited with our five senses. Uh, for sure, we can probably analyze, calculate, but that might not be enough because we just judge or strategize based from our senses so even the wisest king in the history asked god for wisdom solomon asked god for wisdom uh, when he could ask for 
better things. So it says in 1 Kings 3, 7, 9, Now, O Lord my God, you have made your servant king instead of David my father. I am but a lad in wisdom and experience. I know not how to go out or come in. Your servant is in the midst of your people whom you have chosen, a great people who cannot be counted for multitude. So give your servant an understanding mind and a hearing heart to judge that I may discern between good and bad. So uh, so especially for, for leaders, um, if, if not most of the time, I pray for wisdom. God is after our heart when we are asking for wisdom because a person who is self-sufficient could never be helped. Uh, no one can help that person that uh, does not recognize a need uh, for help. So now that we're able to express how we feel and we ask guidance on how we ask guide, we ask wisdom and guidance on how to go through about our situation. We'll now go to the third step, which is the critical and very important, which is to take action. Taking action means you face the situation head on. Uh, don't run away from it, uh, either through overeating, over drinking, or smoking, or projecting how the stress that you have to other people by probably being mean or easily irritated. Um, these, if uh, developed as a habit, is not healthy for our physical health and at the same time, our social relationships. As the word says, taking actions, uh, it involves therefore a targeted efforts as well as deliberate actions to resolve the root cause of your stress. Um, if, for example, you are tasked to do a complex job, so the first thing probably that you can do is to just try it first and uh, if it's still overwhelming to you, then you can sort out things that make that can make it efficient and effective on on your end and uh, you can also seek help for those uh, from those people that are experts on uh, the task or have experience on on how on how to do it so uh, taking action will only generate results if the actions that we are taking are intentional and directed to the cause of the current overwhelming feelings that we have and of course to try it first try it first before you give up so after taking intentional actions and efforts to resolve your current situation you are again faced with a more challenging one. Issues got escalated, probably targets got higher, and you feel like you are not motivated anymore, and you feel like there, there's no way out for you. So when you start, when I start having that feeling, uh, I go back to my purpose. So I go back to the reason why I'm why I started why I'm here why I'm doing these things um, everything that we do uh, even small or big has an impact to someone else and even to our community as a whole so when things are uh, becoming overwhelming for us let us be reminded that we are part of a bigger picture. Uh, aligning ourselves to this bigger purpose other than ourselves, it could be our values, it could be God, it could be a family, it could be the principle that you believe in. This will outlift and this would help us push through even though in a even though we are faced with a difficult situation. Uh, because if we just focus on ourselves, uh, we would always feel that we are probably not perfect or probably we feel that we are not enough. 
but if we would connect ourselves and what we do to bigger things then we come we become also bigger so uh, when I'm faced with this challenge especially when targets got uh, got higher uh, I of course I feel the overwhelming feeling that it might not be possible to to meet so but uh, after that I go back to my purpose I go back to why am I here so the as a manager my main goal is of course to keep my people's job to keep everyone's job so if I would just uh, stay or salt in that emotion probably we could not move on people will will fail people will not meet those targets and eventually might lose their job so that gives me the drive to go on and strategize work with my the people under me the the, the, the coaches and uh, some agents so we can come up with solutions not only to meet the goals but of course maximize their potentials the skills and the earnings that they can have by meeting the goal so uh, I was even surprised that even the targets are high there are some agents who were able to outdo their current performance and even uh, got a perfect score on their scorecard so just continue to uh, align yourselves not only on what you can do but align it with a bigger picture because for leaders for for managers especially uh, we it's our social responsibility as well to keep to keep the job of the people under us so uh, they are really looking for looking up for us for direction on how we can help them so uh, don't just work for yourself don't just work for 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 your salary for money uh, even though of course that's the main motivation while we are working but uh, be part of something big so uh, you can big you can be big together so be part of something big so you can outperform your limitations and the last thing that I do but I would say the most important is to continue to believe in the goodness and faithfulness of God in our lives there are things that is really out of our control no matter how you plan no matter how you connect yourself with a bigger picture just like this pandemic I know that that is just a fact for now but that is not constant this can change this situation can change anytime so last year i never thought that i could continue working from home because we have poor internet connection our internet just has a speed of 1 or 2.5 mbps so despite of that low internet speed I was able to take calls, uh, be present on my shifts, even sometimes it would rain. And uh, finally, last December, we were able to get a fiber connection in our area. So uh, if you think about it, I, who, I, I never imagined working at home with Volterra as provider with that internet speed so I would say that God is faithful even with our own limitations even with the limitations in the technology even the limitations in technology so God can work through you if just if you continue to believe and trust in him so uh, his faithfulness his love for us will be our shield and a buckler in tough times so to sum it up uh, and if you're gonna ask me again how I cope up with stress so again five things one is always to 
talk to God first, bring your issues to God first, then pray for wisdom. Third is to take deliberate action. Fourth is to connect yourself with a bigger picture. And lastly is to continue to believe in God's faithfulness and goodness in our lives. I hope that this inspires you and I hope that this motivates you. And I hope that I made you feel better watching this video. So I hope this video had inspired you and in some way had motivated you and uh, hopefully made you feel better today. So thank you again for watching and remember to be the best version of yourself each day.